Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to automatically generate QR codes for SharePoint list item attachments in Power Automate. We will create our QR codes using the absolute SharePoint URI, which means only SharePoint team members will be able to scan and access document contents. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. To begin, we will click Create and start an automated cloud flow. We will search for the SharePoint trigger action called When an Item is Created. We will now jump straight into our trigger action to configure our site address and list name. We will need to configure these two dropdowns for every SharePoint list action that we use. We will now add a new action, and we will search for the SharePoint Get Attachments action. After we establish our list details once again, we will select the list item ID from our trigger step in the bottom field. This action retrieves the absolute SharePoint URI of our file attachment. In our next action, we will generate QR barcodes using the absolute URI from our attachments. To do this, we will add a new action, and we will search for Cloudmersive connectors. We will then click See More next to the Cloudmersive barcode connector, which should show up first on our list. From here, we will select the Generate a QR Code action, and before we can configure this action, we will first need to create our Cloudmersive connection. We will need a premium Power Automate account to use Cloudmersive connectors, but we can use these connectors at no additional cost with a free API key. Free API keys allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with zero commitments, and we can get one by visiting the Cloudmersive website and creating a free account. To generate our barcode, we will select dynamic content labeled Absolute URI from our Get Attachments step. We will notice Power Automate wraps our QR code action in a for each control to account for multiple file attachments to a single list item. The way our flow is set up, each attachment added to our target list will receive its own QR code. We can now do anything we want with our resulting QR code PNG file. We can add this into other documents, send it directly to team members, or store it for use later on. To keep this demonstration simple, we will create a new file and store it in a convenient location. We will use any create file action we want for this purpose, and we will name our file using the display name dynamic content from our get attachments action. Keep in mind the display name value still contains the original file extension, and we will need to add the PNG extension at the end of our file to make sure it's written correctly. We will now save and test our flow, which means adding a new list item with a file attachment to our SharePoint list. When we're all done, we will find our QR code PNG in the location we chose to store it, and we can test this QR code by scanning it with our phone camera directly. We've now reached the end of this video. If you have any questions after this walkthrough, please feel free to reach out to any member of our team.